Welcome back guys. We are going to be starting a new campaign. There's been a lot of updates since I last recorded a campaign. A lot. So, I mean, there's too many updates for me to even go into all the changes. But basically, the accuracy has been changed, the range found bonuses have been changed, the penetration mechanics have been changed, the the actual pen amounts have been changed, the gun ranges have been changed, so yeah, there's far too much for me to even go into details about, but with all of these changes to the gun mechanics, it's made gunnery rather easy. <laughs> Um, I mean, it's always been easy when it's player versus AI, but to make it difficult and to add a little bit of a, a theme to this campaign, rather than just annihilating the enemy like we normally do, I've decided I'm going to roleplay a little bit. So, <clears throat> I've left the ships on auto-design at the start of the battle, at the start of the battle, at the start of the campaign. So the AI has designed all of my ships for me. And what we're going to be doing is... If we want a new design, like if we're not happy with these, which we almost certainly won't be. I haven't actually looked at any of them yet, so we're going to take a look, look at them in a minute. Um, just bear with me one second. I have been doing updates and... Quite often the sound has changed. No, the sound should be fine. Let me know if the sound is, is off. Okay, so if we want a new design, let's say for example we don't like this battleship, the rules are I have to use auto design and I have to build five of every auto designed ship that I auto design. So we're not going to tamper with anything. We have to use it exactly as it comes out. In fact, no, I will make one change. <laughs> Bulkheads. There is absolutely no point in using anything other than uh, maximum bulkheads. So we are going to change that one thing because otherwise everything will just sink immediately. So that is the only thing that we're going to change we might have to take some armor off to actually apply bulkheads at some stages, but without bulkheads, the game is unplayable. So this is all we're changing, bulkheads. So every time I design a new ship, I have to build minimum five of them. Now, to prevent myself from being overloaded with a ridiculous amount of ships, the next rule is... Once a ship has been designed, I'm not. Uh, I can scrap it or refit it five years later. So I can't tamper with it for five years. But after five years, I'm allowed to scrap it or refit it. Obviously. So the starting ships, they all start with an earlier year on them. So eighty six. This one's got 89 for some reason. God knows why we've got two torpedo boats, but we have. Uh, so I'm going to assume or just count these as being 19, 1890 ships. So I'm not allowed to scrap any of these until 95. So they are the two rules. And then another rule, which I've decided... I'm not sure if I'm going to stick to this rule or not. It depends how the... How the game plays out. But basically, I'm thinking of not using any task forces at all. So I don't get to choose what ships go into battle. It will all just be random mission generated battles. Now, sometimes the random mission generator is... Uh, well, it's boring. It's It's boring. You end up with battles where it's just like one ship versus one ship all the time. Or maybe one versus three or three versus two, that type of thing. And if it starts to get incredibly boring, just playing small battles all the time, I will start using um, task fleets. And then what I'll do is I'll just use 
all of the ships in a task in a port and then they can be the task fleet so it'll be task fleets by port basically okay so we haven't actually started the game yet so let's do that first So I've chosen Britain for two reasons. One, because it's difficult to keep the convoys safe. So it'll give us something to do protecting sea lanes or sea zones all over the place. And the other reason is it might help with the mission generator having sea zones or ports or scattered all over the place. It might mean that we get more missions generated so that is the reason that I've decided to go with Britain. And because Britain's ships are my favourite ships. Britain and Japan. So, uh, so yeah, that's another reason why I prefer to play as Britain if I had the choice. Okay. What are we looking at? Shipyard. Transport capacity. Now, I'm not going to bother with crew training until a war starts, and then I'll start investing in it. Investing in it. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to rush any techs in the tech budget, in the tech budget, in the tech tree. Because it's, in my opinion, it's really overpowered. Even though it slows down the rest of your techs, if you rush things like radar, or oxygen torpedoes, or mark guns the higher marked guns then you just end up with a ridiculous advantage over the enemy and it's just not fun it's not fun when <laughs> when it, there's no challenge whatsoever so I'm just going to leave the tech just standard ok so let's see how much the crew training would cost wow 26 million ok well, that's slightly expensive. Right, so we've just designed a new ship, so we're building five of them. So we've still got plenty of cash, so let's have a look. Uh, we're allowed to build more than five if we like the design. But we have to build five minimum. So let's check out our ships, shall we? What the ones we started with. Okay, so it's got raised beam. That's quite nice. It's only got standard bulkheads, so I am gonna refit all of the designs so they've got maximum bulkheads, because like I say, it's pointless playing with anything less than maximum. So let's do this. We won't be able to increase the displacement. So we're going to have to reduce the armor. So I think that'll probably be the quickest way to do it. Let's have a look. Let's knock this down to nine. Ah, there we go. Nice and easy. Okay, let's see what the ship looks like. We've got increased ammo torpedoes on a battleship. <laughs> Genius. That's not going to cause any uh, torpedo deaths at all. <laughs> Probably going to end up losing this ship to a torpedo debt. Okay. Average armor scheme. Nothing out of the ordinary. What have we got in terms of guns? 11.7. So we've got a minus 11 inch as well. So we're going to have far too much pen at the beginning of the game at least it's got max HE shells because we're going to be relying on HE with these battleships spacious quarters that's not great Well, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's only got a 10% full weight. 
offset and it's got 80% engine efficiency. I reckon we could live with this. 3.2 and 3.3 inch guns, why wouldn't they just have the same? <laughs> got minus barrels on them though, that's not helpful. Minus 19 on the 5 inch gun, Jesus Christ. Okay, so this isn't going to be able to shoot straight, so... We're definitely not going to be buying any more of these. So let's have a look at our torpedo boat. It's already got maximum bulkhead, so that's nice. It has got... If I hover down here, I think it shows me... Yeah, it does. So if I move the camera a little bit... So we've got four 3.3-inch guns. Two 1.7-inch guns, so it's just one on either side. And one torpedo launcher. Let's have a look, see. Reduced ammo, so just a single torpedo. Okay. So it's more of a gunboat than it is a torpedo boat. Minus 10 and minus 2 on the barrel lengths. Okay, so this isn't going to be able to shoot straight either. 21 aft weight offset and a ridiculous roll. So yeah, this is not a good ship. We're definitely not going to be buying any more of these. Let's have a look at the armoured cruiser. So we're going to want to put maximum bulkheads on. It's going to be rather difficult to Is this going to help, or is that... Mm, it's going to help slightly. It's going to be really difficult to reduce the weight without touching these sliders up here, so... That's got it quite close. That's actually making it worse. Okay, I'll do. Right, so what have we got? 11.5 on the full weight officer, 17 engine efficiency. Oof. <laughs> this is uh, this is not going to be able to turn at all. As soon as I try and turn with this, it's just going to basically stop dead in the water. So that's a problem. What guns has it got? Oh, they've tucked that right up in there. Don't like that. 7.4 inch guns, that's not too bad. Let's have a look at the minus 15 length. Come on. Are you trying to make me not be able to hit anything? <laughs> okay. Uh, minus 8, minus 9, minus 4. So another ship with terrible accuracy, unfortunately. Yeah. That's pretty goddamn awful. Let's have a look at our light cruiser. That is a lot of funnels and hasn't really helped. <laughs> okay, right then. 10 full weight offset. Let's just quickly do this. Hmm. Is that going to make it worse or better? There we go. There we go. Right, let's have a look, see what we've got. 21.5 knots. Have we got torpedoes? We have. We've got six tubes. Three on either side, none at the front and back. Interesting. Uh, we've got four three inch guns, 11. Right, that's a lot. That one does not look like it has very good arc of fire. Okay, let's have a look, see what 
the accuracy is like minus 13. Come on. <laughs> okay. So we're basically like shotgunners. We've got to, we're going to have to get in close and just spray and pray. Right then. Another ship with awful guns. Awful accuracy. Might be. We've got reduced torps, right? Might be okay for torpedoing. Not great, though. Not great. Okay, let's have a look at our final ship. So we've got... Huge aft weight offset and roll again. One deck torpedo. With increased ammo this time. Four times... Uh, sorry, four 3.3 inch guns. With a minus eight barrel. Hmm. Not great again. Okay, so let's have a look at the battleship that we auto-designed. What have we got? 8.9 inch full weight offset, 56 engine efficiency, 17.9 knots, quite fast. Torpedoes. Oh dear. Minus ink barrel on the 12.4. That The 12.4 is just far too large for this, so I'm going to have to use HE again. Let's see how, what ammo we've got. Standard ratio. Minus 4, minus 12, minus 8, minus 5. Okay. So it's not ideal. None of these ships are ideal. <laughs> um, well, let's spin a armored cruiser. So, first things first is Maximum bulkheads. Ship is overweight. That's made things worse. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Ah, crew quarters. We can reduce that. Hmm. There we go. Sorted. I'll just leave it as it is. Right, so what have we got? 5% full weight offset. That's not too bad. 17.7 .7 engine efficiency. I think that's going to be the same with all these armoured cruisers because we haven't actually got the space to put a bigger f uh, put another funnel in. Right. Minus four on a 6.5. That's not too bad. That's closer to what I want. Right, I'm quite happy with that. So this is going to be our primary... Um, armoured cruiser. Not happy about minus 16 length on this 4.3 inch though. There's loads of them. Got some underwater torpedoes. Right, I can live with that. I can live with it. It's not great, but I can live with it. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, what's the difference? I think the other one's a torpedo cruiser because it had more torpedo slots. Yeah, so so let's design a light cruiser this time. See what we get. Gonna have to put that up. There we go. Right, what are we looking at? We have got four, uh, fifteen point eight four weight offset. It's not too, too well. It's not great. It's not great. <clears throat> Twenty five roll, fifty two engine efficiency. That's not too bad. I can live with that. Oh, minus twelve length on the four point one inch guns again. This is basically the same. So increased ammo torpedoes, let's have a look to see. We've got four of them. 21.5 knots. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not I'm not particularly happy with this. So I might spin another one of them. So I'm not sure if we're going to get a better torpedo boat. So let's see. That one's 28.5, 29.1. Let's spin one more torpedo boat. Let's see what we get. 28.5 again. Oh, we're on minimum bulkheads here. Right. <clears throat> One torpedo tube with reduced ammo. Two inches and four inches. Oh, oh, three inches, sorry. Minus six and minus one. So that's that's a little bit better in the gun department. So, yeah, this will do for our torpedo boat then. Roll is off the chart, but at least the aft weight offset isn't too bad. Engine efficiency, 18.3. Oh my god. <laughs> That's horrendous. That is horrendous. Right. So, let's spin one more battleship. Well, he didn't like that. Let's try again. What have we got? 12.7 inches. Oh, God, that's gross. Right, well, let's change this. Right then. What are we looking at? Right. Minus nine length on the six inches. Minus fifteen on the five. Right. I don't know. It's got no torpedoes, so it's a bit safer in the exploding department. This might have to do. Yeah, this might have to do. So that's going to be our primary battleship 
So let's take a look at light cruiser again. Okay, what are we looking at? 7.4 weight offset, 54 engine efficiency. That's not too bad. Got some 6.5 inches. Some 4 inches. Some 3 inches and some torpedo tubes. Let's have a look. Reduced ammo on the torpedoes. Uh, minus 9 and minus 8 and minus 8. Not great, but I think we can live with it. Twenty point nine knots. I think this will do. This can be our primary light cruiser for now. And then... Did I want another torpedo boat? Yeah, 18 engine efficiency. <laughs> 22 engine efficiency. Let's have a look at the other ones. 22. 25. They just don't want to give them much engine efficiency. So one... Oh, we're going to need to do this first. Okay, so we've got one deck torpedo. With standard ammo. Minus three and minus four, that's not too bad. Huge aft weight offset and roll. Let's have a look to see what the others were. Minus six and minus one. It's got six guns in total. Minus three and minus four, but he's only got three guns. He's got four guns with minus eight, so no. No, thank you. And he's got minus ten with six guns. Right, so I reckon this Mallard with the six guns is going to be the one that we stick with. Okay, so let's build all of these ships. Oh yeah, we need to refit these first. Okay, that's that done. Now we're going to build five of each of these.
Okay. Let's have a quick look at the finances. We've still got 14 million a month. So let's build. Well, let's have a look, see what we've actually got in terms of ships. So 8, 17, 23, 32. So that's double, triple, and quadruple. So that's how the AI are doing it then. One battleship, two armoured cruisers, three light cruisers, and four torpedo boats per task fleet, apparently. So that's how we're going to do it. So we've got 11 battleships building. <clears throat> Don't know how I managed that. I was meant to only build 10. Oh, it's they're pre-building from the AI building them. Right, so we need 11... 12 armoured cruisers, 24 light cruisers, so 12, 24 and 36 torpedo boats basically. Twenty-four, and the Mallard was the one we were going to stick with. Thirty-six. Okay, so we're basically spot on with the cash now. So let's let just let's just let them go into whatever ports they want once they build. Let me just double check these maximum bulkheads, maximum bulkheads, that's good. Okay, right then. So it's going to be a while of not doing anything. I haven't decided what I'm going to do in terms of who I go to war with. Let's see how I start off negative a little bit with Germany and Austro-Hungary. Austria-Hungary, sorry. Austria-Hungary. I don't know what to call them. <laughs> right, so, I've got two choices. Either I try and influence a war, or I, I roleplay and let people drag me into the wars. So I might just roleplay. play as a pacifist until I get my arm twisted. Okay. So yeah, I think it's going to be pretty boring watching me just hit next turn for the next short while, so I think I'll pause the recording and then jump back in when something interesting happens. Okay, so... <laughs> I accidentally hit end recording instead of on pause, and so we've missed a, a rather sizable chunk of stuff happening. Now, really, hardly anything's happened, so I'll just go through exactly what has been going on. So, basically, until last month, I've been at peace, and during that time, I've been building up fleets and stationing them in all of my colonies. Now I've tried to get it so every colony's got one battleship, two armoured cruisers, three light cruisers and four torpedo boats. They're not perfect but they should have that amount minimum and then maybe a little bit more on top. So that took, it took me about two hours. <laughs> it took me about two hours to organise. It was ridiculous. And after that, I was basically trying to provoke Austria-Hungary, Austro-Hungarian Empire, I don't know what to call them, um, and while I was trying to provoke them, we ended up getting into a war with China. So I fought one battle, which was torpedo boats versus an armoured cruiser, 
and I quickly discovered that all of my torpedo boats couldn't move. <laughs> Uh, the engine efficiency of 20 is just simply not enough to, to get them moving. It took them an eternity. They started the battle at 8 knots. It took them an eternity to actually speed up. So I've just quickly refitted. Well, I haven't actually refitted them. I've just designed the refits for all of the torpedo boats because we've now unlocked induced boilers. So... I've basically just put induced boilers on all the torpedo boats. And that's it, really. That, that So it's taken me two and a half hours. <laughs> but hardly anything's happened in reality. So, yeah, let's carry on. So this is the first month of the war. We've just fought one battle, which was torpedo boats versus armoured cruisers. And we're about to find out what our light cruiser's like. So it's just a light cruiser duel. And then after that, we've got an armoured cruiser skirmish, ours versus theirs. So, let's do the light cruiser first. Let's see how he gets on. Could be catastrophic. <clears throat> so, I've been having a think. And when I refit my ships, what I'm going to be doing is I'm not going to touch the beam in the draft. Because I can easily give myself a, a massive advantage by changing the beam and draft. And it's just not realistic either, changing the beam and draft on a refit. So, I'll be leaving the beam and draft alone. I'll basically only really be changing the armaments and the, the layout and nothing about the hull itself. And because we're already in 19, uh, 1895, so there's already been five years past, I'm not going to actually refit all of my ships until I've used them in combat. So I want to actually use them, the designs that the AI came up with before I actually go through and do any refits. To be fair, the enemy are probably still using their starter ships as well. Because I don't think many wars have really happened since the start of the game. So I think everyone's pretty much just rocking around with starter technology. Well, hopefully the enemy's not running away from me. Because if he is, I ain't going to be chasing him. Right, I'll pause the recording and hopefully this time I don't hit end recording. <laughs> And then I'll unpause it once I catch up with him. So, apparently, the enemy didn't want to fight. I should have looked to see what speed he was, to see if I would have caught him eventually. But I'm not chasing ghosts. So that... Okay, so let's try out the armoured cruisers. So let's see what speed he is. 14.5 knots. And we are 19.9, .9, so we've got a huge speed advantage over him. I wonder... Right. Hmm. Armour, maybe? I'm wondering what he's got that is making him so heavy. Unfortunately, it's cutting off. Ah, oh, there we go. So he's got more armour than me. He's got more crew than me. And he's got more guns than me. He's got a lot more guns than me. Okay. So he's gone for armour and guns. Mine is speed. Fair enough. Let's see what happens. I don't think speed is going to be better than armour and guns. Well, let's see if we... Excuse me. <clears throat> I 
Right. So, how am I going to go about this? Let's try putting him in a, a line formation. I don't know what my engine efficiency is. It might be goddamn awful again. Oh, God. I just remembered. I think it is awful. I think it's like 20% because I could only fit this one funnel on. So we've both got torpedoes, but he's got better guns than me, so I still think torpedoes is probably my best option here. So it looks like we've got one in either direction. Just one torpedo per tube. So I reckon I'm going to try and hit this guy here with the torpedoes. Oh, come on. Oh, I need to turn him off. Damn it. So I dodged his and landed and landed a dud, which is just unfortunate. There's not much we can do about that. I've accidentally wasted one of my torpedoes as well because I forgot to turn him off. So at the moment, I've got my rear and my right, my port side. Hopefully he lands that torpedo. It's la going to land. Yes. Nice. Great stuff. Okay, so we were unlucky to get a dud on the first one. I accidentally fired the second one. But we did get a detonation on the third one. So I'll take that. So this guy's going to be my next target. Yeah, he's dodged that one, unfortunately. Might be able to get him on the next one, though. We're going to have to be careful, because I think he's lining up to fire. He's turned away, though. Oh, 
Let's see if we can pull by the side of him. This should be a perfect angle. Got a nice big shot on him as well. That torpedo landed. Let's see if we can get the rear torpedo to hit him. Make sure everybody else is turned off. Nice. So we've landed two torpedoes on him. That should sink him. Fantastic. What's going on here? Why is, why is he still the leader? Detach, please. Oh, I don't like this jerkiness when selecting ships. I hope they fix that soon. So that should be a perfect hit. Nice. Ah, uh, he's fired. Damn it. I didn't think he had one in the tube, but he did. Caught me off guard. Quite sure what's going on here. So I think we're better off going for this one. Quite sure why he's just sitting still. Let's add him into there. That might get him moving again. Okay, this looks like a good angle. Make sure I'm targeting the right person. Lovely. Let's see if we can get the next one off. Lovely. I'm going to turn them off now. Nice. So I fired the front one and the right one there. So I've got the rear and the left. So let's see if we can get the rear and the left one off on this guy. He's still got one torpedo left. Unfortunately, that made me have to do evasive manoeuvres, so now I'm not in the right position to fire my... Oh dear, that was silly of me. He needs to bail. God, I hate this jerkiness that they've brought in. Hope they fix that really soon. Right, I've got one torpedo to fire with this guy. Oh, come on. The auto avoid was actually making me go straight at him. Well, we landed a torpedo on him. I didn't even mean to fire it, so that was nice. Right, he has still got two left, so I'll bring him back in again. 
Let's split these pair up. Oh my god, this jerkiness. It's driving me nuts. Okay, so this ship has got one torpedo. That was a terrible time to try and have a drink. I really didn't think I was going to catch up with him that, that fast. Uh, why are you not firing your front launcher? Has it been taken out? No. I have no idea why he wasn't firing it, and that was a terrible shot. Oh dear. We lost the ship. Man down. Oh, why is he not firing? Because this guy's too close. Got one off there anyway. Right, we sunk him. Oh, that was a terrible time to try and have a sip of me water. <coughs> My own fault. Well, we lost the ship. We took some damage that we shouldn't have taken, but all in all, that went quite well. So this didn't work very well as a gunship, unsurprisingly, but it did okay as a heavily armoured torpedo boat. <laughs> Right then. So I'm not going to bother refitting any of the other ships until this war is finished. And then I think all I'm going to do is just give them all induced boilers. 
I'm not going to do any other refits, I don't think. Any other modifications, I should say. I'll do more mods and more new builds in 1900. I think I'm just going to go for that one. I'm already at war with the Chinese Empire, so there's no reason why not. The Bay of Bengal. We lost a couple of transport ships. We have got a load of ships here. So it is a bit strange that we're still losing transport ships. but We sunk quite a lot, though. Southeast Asia and East Asia. Apparently, our troops are trying to invade. Look at that, 12,000 or 13,000 versus 600,000. wonder how they're going to get on. Right. A couple of months before we do the shipyard again. Okay, that's a fairly large engagement. We get to see what the battleship and the light cruisers are like. That's good, considering we've... Or oh, <laughs> you didn't see what the torpedo boats were like, but I did. <laughs> so I've tried the torpedo boats and the armoured cruiser. Now the battleship and the light cruisers. So I think I'm going to save this for the next episode, because although this one hasn't gone on for that long, I've actually been playing for <laughs> over three hours. So... I feel like I need a break. So, in the next episode, battleship and light cruisers versus armoured cruisers and light cruisers. Interesting. So cheers for watching. Take care. I shall see you soon.